absolutely fascinating. So thanks for that sharing that. And now, without further ado, Wendy. that it's your UFO and I'm going to check it off and then you're going to get an extra ticket so that you can um, win some prizes. So a year ago, Jean had a small group and we went and we sewed. Lisa was there, Edie was there, and so here is my Alaska Beauty. It's finished, but I don't want to call it Alaska Beauty so I need some um, ideas. But I finally got it, oh and Mindy Skinner um, quilted it. This is the same quilting design that was done on the Opportunity Quilt, and I absolutely love it. Got the binding done last night. The last two feet took an hour. It was just... Can you get closer to it? Somebody's being stand next to it. Thanks everybody. It was, it, this is the hardest quilt. And the, oh, surf's up. That's great. So, yeah, it, it, it's amazing. Okay, so mine, I went um, two weeks ago to Luther Springs and for a retreat, and this is one of the projects I brought. Oh, oh, oh. Emma! So it's not finished, obviously, but oh, wow. I'm showing you the first part. I have finished. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have um, just donation quilts tonight. Woo! The first one is for Sandy. Just um, leftovers from a bigger quilt that I made. Put the label on it. Okay, wait, hold it so I can see it. Thank you. Nice and your face. Down there. And then I don't know if any of you have ever made these. These are so stinking easy. They're a self-binding baby quilt. Two pieces of flannel. Oh, And they just make up so nice and soft. And I do pre-wash my flannel. Julie Swenson, 
and I have my own ah, lion. Oh, <laughs> this was the 2023 row by row from the Maui quilt shop. I had sent them four quilts, and I have gotten one letter back from somebody who received one.
that Leslie had that you could put your name in for the drive. Right. So, thank you, thank you, Leslie, for this. She's not here tonight, but it's super easy to make, so you should be one of Yeah, so everyone, get your name in. She's got it completed, ready to go. Awesome quilt to make. So, for Cynthia Weir, and um, part of my um, UFOs was my name tag. <laughs> so, yeah, well, don't leave me near a year now. <laughs> and then, um, this is from a shop pop up in Illinois. It's all in uh, machine embroidery and hoop. So, so um, and then I did um, Kimbell overall on over the whole thing. So it kind of brought it together. But ironing it with the wool mat, when, when you do these heavy seams, really, really keeps it down. So I get two things off my list. <laughs>
Garrett. It's called uh, the, the uh, Garden Party. Thank you. <laughs> By Laura Heine. And, uh, but we, I took it one step further. Uh, my friend Mindy quilted this. She did a beautiful job. She suggested we do it in wool, so it became puffy. And this is with my new machine that I was able to scan it draw it on my uh, computer and then it, it did the embroidery itself for these pieces in here and then on the butterflies too and each so each one is a little bit different and the back of it the back of it this is another mindy one i said i really like this design but how do i fit it all in and get it in the center and she showed me how to do that but but i love the colors of this and so Thank you. Uh, I need to get a picture of the front. Oh, let me ask you. I already got one. Are they used? The flowers, petals, are used? These, these are very much like what, we, what Kendra just showed us. These are, uh, they're applique, and I used a blanket stitch instead of a zigzag, and it just really kind of caught it, and then I could use different different colors. And this was all from scraps, too, except for the background.